Hello McWarriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tech. We have some financial troubles right now and seven days until the next financial report that will hit us hard with 2.15, no 2.166 million C-bills. It's a lot of money that we need to get still. So what we are doing now is we're gonna go to our storage and we're gonna flush out some of the medium max that we don't need anymore, like Shadowhawks, for example. We have a bunch of these, which I don't really care about anymore. The lamb is gonna stay. Stealth bomber is gonna stay. The warhammer is gonna stay. Uh, but you know, we can we can drop some tanks and stuff. And I really hope that we can quickly cobble the money together. Twenty three thousand C bills at a time. Eighty thousand. Okay. Buster hauler. Yeah, twenty two. We're almost there already. So that's the cool thing. Um, my plan here today is, um, by the way, getting everything repaired. And we want to dive, or I want to dive into another mission. Why is the prowler so expensive? It's, wow, probably because of the big engine. Interesting, that's good. That's the money that we need. Exactly. I'm gonna sell a little bit more, like the Hunchback, for example, here. Okay, so that we have a little bit of extra. Now, the thing is, this is my work order right now, and I think I have to repair also a crit somewhere. We gotta check that out in a second, as soon as everything is repaired again. And we also have some injuries, so we, we are stuck on this planet for a little longer. We wanna probably play another mission or two here, before we go to another planet and see what we can do there. Uh, Atlas is coming back online. Bjorn is coming back online. You know what? I'll give it a turn. So, here we are. So, we take a look at our mechs first. And the Battlemaster got... I think it got his shoulder crit the last time we were playing. Yeah, that was a through armor crit, but nothing too major. That is zero days, zero money. Bam. We got it. Perfect. So, what about our little battle armor dudes? Mm, can we just click the repair button and we're fine? No. Oh, that's that's rough. We lost the small laser and we lost battle armor SRM. Ha. Huh. Can you take anything else? You, you have to take the battle armor stuff, right? How would I find it? Is it like support? Mind spanner? We have a laser cutter. Hey, look at that. Laser cutter. Super short range. But 20 damage, 10 heat. That's not bad. All right, can we also armor up? We could also armor up. Okay, give it 65 on everybody. Bam, bam, bam. And we're good to go. So we have one guy with a laser cutter now instead of these battle armor small lasers, which are definitely better. But anyway, uh, store is still not available. We are gonna wait one day. Actually, let's wait another day so everybody is fine again. Now we can actually think about the mission that we want to play with everybody online. So, we take a look here. And then we're gonna quickly go back to the, the, the barracks because I want to max out the skills on my pilots. We have a destroy- we have two destroy base missions which I probably want to play. They give us good money and good salvage. Um, and we can play either for the pirates or against somebody. Seems good. I think I'm gonna take the pirate one. Now. Bjorn, give me, give me some gunnery here, buddy. That's gonna be really good. Bullet trap, get some piloting, maxing that out next. Kaspar is getting guts. Oh, almost maxed out. Almost. Ether, Dude. Gonna give you some piloting as well. I think that's gonna be good. Gremlin is slowly and surely getting there. What's Gremlin gonna do? Gladiator implants. Atlantic Comstar, Assassin, Technician. I honestly don't know. But that doesn't hurt. We're gonna get it to like four out of four. You get some more piloting. Oh, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna go for piloting right now because it reduces our fail chance on activatable items. Uh, I think this is important. Jester. When do we retrain Jester? Tough choice. When do we retrain Jaster? It's 500,000 Seabills that we need. Currently, we go with this. Giving him a bit more tactics, so the no sensor penalty is not gonna come up that often. Magpie needs more mobility. Sure, let's go with this. What's also here? Neuron. Still don't know where to go with that. Oh boy, we have so many people. So many of them. Oddball, fine. Popo, fine. Yeah, this is crazy. It's crazy how many good people we have here. 
We're piloting. Let's go. All right, so we're going to go into the command center. Our first job is going to be this. We have to destroy a base against the Terran hegemony. 315, 419? It's going to be 419. Yeah, let's take the goodies with us. I, I know, I shouldn't, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So, we are seven skulls against four and a half. That's definitely a lot more than they have. Mm, and I think this is gonna be our squad. These guys are set up very nicely. Actually, the Dire Wolf. Who was the main pilot for the Dire Wolf, anyway? Was it Jaster? Actually, yes. Interesting. Interesting. Battlemaster is fine, Archer is fine, Marauder is fine, everybody's fine. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, here we go. We are destroying a base. In the base destruction mission, they have turrets, but they also should have a turret generator somewhere that we are able to destroy to take out all of them at the same time. So let's start. Wait, should we start here? Could we start on the high ground somewhere? All the way in the back, maybe? Like here? That would be a nice angle on the base. We will start in rough terrain, but I think it's not going to be a big deal because we will move first round anyway. That's good. Let's do it like that. All right. So, uh, it's over, and it, it's so over, Anakin. But the enemies should have a support lance. They should have a gar garrison. They should have turrets. They should have everything. Military building. Where's the generator? There's no generator. I don't see any. Interesting. All right. Shatterhawk, Battlemaster, Mongoose, Warhammer, Heavy LRM, Heavy Laser, Heavy LRM, not too bad. This is very much doable. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, we're gonna use our power armor. We wanna most likely convert our power armor to motorcycles. Get some evasion. Rough terrain is so rough. Let's stay in cover for the moment. We're gonna ditch down a little. Okay. This mission should be very doable. So far. I don't know what's hiding in the in the shadows there, but we'll see. So. Nine sprint. Oh, I love it. These guys are fast. Beautiful. Now we have 65 armor. Wait, one of them is 70? No! The inconsistency, inconsistency is real. Uh, okay. Archer is going to move and brace. All right. Hardened LRM. Okay. Phoenix. Let's jump to the flank and get some sensor information. This is, is weird. I feel like we are missing targets here. Somebody is here that is not showing up yet. Sprint for seven, get the high ground. There we go. It could have pinged, actually. Shadowhawk? Is there anybody down here? No. Interesting. Good, in that case, move and brace. That's gonna be it. Uh, Marauder is, um, yeah, he's following on the flank. 12 evasion as well. I love these two. This is just such a great death squad. We can just scoot around and just, just hit whatever we want. Okay, so the Battlemaster wants to be the tank for the team. Get up. And brace it up. Seven evasion, brace status, as well as obscuring the line of fire a little bit. The Atlas. Mm, we have the Dreadnought Gyro, so whenever we, bra we can, we should brace. Lone Wolf. Jump. And brace. Like here. These are hard to hit targets for our enemies. Okay. It's a battle master. And the fight is on. This seems to be a very easy mission. Uh, if I am not mistaken here. They have, they have also a very low initiative. I am going to play this relatively aggressive. Oh, wait. Couldn't hit the battle master from here. Weird. Um, in that case... Let's go for the turret, shoot the gauses. They have a through armor damage potential. So, no crit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The Warhammer is an actual threat to us. The double PPC is nasty. 
We probably want to take it out as one of our first priorities. The other guys can stay, especially the LRM turrets. We have so much AMS that it, missiles don't bother us at all. Mongoose, nasty. But anyway. Good. And uh, let's go here. Here. Try to hit the mongoose. The laser cutter coming in. Let's see. We got 29% chance to hit that. Structure exposed. Uh, it's a mongoose. It's a light mag. Doesn't stand a chance against our riders. 23. You say you got hyper assault or AP Gauss rifles or whatever? That's nasty. Who was that? Goblin. All right. Gotcha. Cool. So, to make sure that we are not getting hit further, we want to attack the Battlemaster and we want to attack the Shadowhawk. There's a chance to kill the Shadowhawk. But we would deal more damage to the Battlemaster, so we go for a 12 damage attack. Good. Medium laser down. Side toss a crit. Next. There's more. Yeah, I think I will totally go over here and try to attack the Warhammer. Let me see if I can squeeze out a side attack. I can. Come on. Get here. Get there. Oh, perfect. So what's in the back line? A Cyclops. Not bad. And a Victor. Ooh, not bad. Hmm. I think I'll go Narc, Inferno. Also, can I please hit my fast gun? It never shoots. It never, ever, ever shoots. So weird, man. So weird. But the cool thing is that he's unsteady. Uh, the bad thing is that he's gonna stabilize himself again. Oh, the initiative. It was against us today. Alright. So we're gonna eat a little bit of damage. And when I say a little bit, I mean a quite a lot. Ooh, we shouldn't lose that arm, because now we have patchwork in here, which I cannot really lose. And there's also ammo on that arm. Okay, fine. Get the Battlemaster in. And contest the other Battlemaster. This is not a kill. I expected one. Fine. Okay. The problem is the turrets, because if they activate... Wait, is that the generator? No. If they activate, we might have a problem with our Phoenix. He's not really protected by AMS. And more mechs are coming in as well. So I, what I want is I want to bring as many of my people to the front line. And try to intervene with what's going on here. Laser turret is fine. Wait, we, we do have tandem. That cracks a turret. I wish I had multi-target right now. Do I? No, I don't. So only 40 missiles, so 8 LRMs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So these guys are gonna shoot, I guess, incendiaries. Deal extra damage against structures. That's not enough! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There's more. Don't worry about it. We're gonna get this done. Yes, so... This is an obvious choice, taking down the Shadowhawk. Let's go. That should be a kill. Easy. Okay, Jamie in the fight, Shadowhawk out of the fight. Good for us. Turn 18. It's now the Cyclops' turn. Nothing from him. It's good for us. It's really good for us. So what to do with the Fugin? We want to get in here, but do we want to try to take the turret down? We could. We could also take the Master of Battles. We also have an Atlas who can solve that problem for us. Both of them, actually. We got a knockdown at the very least, but we didn't kill yet. Hmm. Got medium lasers out. The PPC is still there. Okay. 
So Atlas, as I was saying, probably wants to just get on a nice overview spot. Get up the high ground, buddy. Get enhanced imaging on. Spin up the rocks. Let's go four times. Okay, turret of the board. So, we have one more activation. And that activation is gonna be our Dire Wolf. I do wonder, should I go for... I don't... I don't want to go for the Battlemaster. It's not a relevant target right now. So, let's also get on the high ground with him. Like right here, and try to finish off something that we have already started to attack. Like the Warhammer. Standard ammo. Gauss Rifle, get wrecked. Bunch of kills already. A <laughs> big explosion as well. I love it. Nice. Cool. That worked. Also, where was that overheat message coming from? Did we hit the Goblin with that? I don't think so. No, it might have been... Oh, oh. Ooh, this is a problem. Uh, it might have been still the Warhammer's reaction to that. So, here's the Battlemaster. He has now an unsteady archer in front of him. He might actually hit us, even though he's standing up. Here he comes. Alright, no hit. We're fine. We're good. We might be able to finish next round. Like, not the whole mission, because we still have to destroy the buildings, but we might be able to destroy most of the enemy support lances. Like, uh, garrison dudes here. Okay. Now that is super interesting. Let's get up here. Get it. Warning. Enemy reinforcements. Detected. Reinforcements. All right, got it. We have the reinforcements. What are they? I see a Lancelot. Nice build there on a 60 tonner. There's a Black Knight as well, and they're in my back. I hate it. I might be able to kill the Victor, though, because we have a very good hit chance on him. Let's go Warlord on that. And try to take the Victor with his AC-20 off the board. Seems good. Seems very good. Easy. Good, 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 good. Now, the reinforcements are a thing that I didn't consider. That's a little bit of a problem. Also, the Ballistic Turret here. Nice hit, I gotta say. Very good accuracy. Good stability that he dealt on us. Here's the Wolverine. There was a Wolverine? Since when? Oh, more reinfo- Yeah? More reinforcements? Yeah, there's also now a Black Knight right in my lands. Oh boy, let's see what they are doing. Yeah, lots of stray shots. I do believe though that we will be fine here. Right? Anakin? <laughs> we will be fine. <laughs> sure. Nothing bad will happen. Nobody is gonna shoot me in the back or punch me in the face. Black Knight? That's what I mean! Okay. Still alright. As long as we are good on the arm, no ammo will explode and nothing will happen. Okay. Still the Lancelot. He might also attack our Phoenix. Okay, going for the Archer. Missing everything. Good. The good news is, our Sea Riders now actually have a very a decent melee target. A bunch of them, actually. Mongoose has not taken a turn yet, so I think we'll go attack them before they can do anything bad. Let's go physical weapon. Shoot everything else afterwards. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> Alright, we miss, sadly. Uh, anyway, weapons. Fire them. Hey, that's good. That's good. It's not a kill yet, but it's a knockdown. Rawr. Ball damage kill? No. Okay. God, this is so clumped up here. Really hard to see. Okay, Mongoose on the ground. I don't really care about him anymore. Okay. I think he's shooting a lot of AP gases on me. So that thing needs to go. It's the goblin here. The fire starter S. Lots of ballistic hard points. Lots of AP gases. Is there anybody that I could mm, utilize 
any mech that could run these as well should we, you know, take him. What's that? I'm not allowed to... to punch anybody? Aww. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I can go in the back of the Wolvie. We might get something done here. And I'm not entirely sure if these guys are melee capable or if we just have no line of sight or whatever, but let's, uh, let's shoot him. And hit our own Atlas. Massively. Massively. Yeah, center torso. Through armor crit. It's not a crit, but we got some through armor damage. Ouch. So the battle armor heavy gals rifle hit. You also hit. Ooh. Okay, so I shouldn't joke around with these. Shouldn't fool around because um, they actually, they are dangerous. They are legitimately dangerous. I want to fall back a bit. Hmm. Let's just get out of harm's way as much as possible. Drop a bomb on a turret. Hmm. Okay, so here's what we do. I will sensor lock, let's say, the fire starter. Uh, yeah, the fire starter. That's the thing that we can do. But I hope that we are not getting unsteady. So, AGM, high explosives, kill this guy so we don't have to worry about him anymore. Massive miss. Massive miss, nothing else. Okay. Make pie. How do I deal with them even? I hate it that we are so clumped up. Really, really hate it. This Black Knight is gonna be a problem. Alright. We go over here. Again, we don't really have the most impact with our weapons, so might as well just kill what's in front of us. And present the target for the other guys. I hope this is working. Alright. Okay. It is. So this should be a kill on the Black Knight. Very good. I also go vigilant. This is so important right now. Let's do that. Good. Backstrike with high explosives. Should be it. Uh, that's not quite it, but we are almost there. He has a small and a medium laser. Let's call it a win. Let's totally win. Speaking of. This could be a kill as well. If we get lucky. It's wind on the leg. Wanna decide also. Alright. Turn 18. I think I need to really clear up what I have in my in my own base right now. Good. Cyclops is still not doing anything. Where to direct my long range? I could hit these guys, but it feels so unnecessary, so inefficient. Okay, you know what? Maybe it's... Hmm. It doesn't matter, really. It doesn't matter. I, I need to shoot something. Let's let's just go and shoot something. Where it hurts. Um, And it hurts on the Lancelot and it hurts on the Black Knight. Both have the same chance to hit. So let's enable all of these things again. Typhon... LK. Yeah, we're gonna set up with Typhon. Let's do it. Gonna shred his armor with acid. And then the follow-up damage is gonna be massive. Could use our Diabol for it, maybe. We'll see. In order to use the Diabol, we need to jump, though. Generates a lot of heat. Ah, but it's fine. Ooh. The heat chance is not fine. Okay, cooling pod right now. We have it. DNI on. 24%. Let's go anyway. That's some proper shredding. Even with that low of a hit chance, we dealt a good amount here. So, and then our last dude in this activation here is the Atlas. 
No back strike. This is a back strike. I'll take the back strike. Okay, here we go. Wolverine, get out of here. This is my spot. Six shots. Let's go. Okay, he's done. So, Wolvie down. Black Knight in our base almost down. Mongoose almost down. Missile still flying. Oof. Let's see who else is coming in. Laser beams, nothing. What, you, what about the auto cannons? These were really nasty last round. Oh. They still are! Wow! And four of them hit two of our guys, being very, very accurate with that. Hmm. Okay. I'll try this. Get in the back. Attack him. Very good hit chance here. This should be a kill. We hit the leg. I think we always hit leg with our little guys, right? But then they have the weapons as well. Rawr. Little motorbikes. With self-repairing armor, so we got a bit back. And again, there's the mongoose. Who is going to attack the mongoose? The other bikes, I guess. So we're gonna use our very accurate and dangerous and devastating missiles on something that we can hit here. Like the goblin. Yep. All right. Neural feedback. That's great to see. Man, there's probably some very good stuff in here, right? Industrial laser cutter, cutter, max shots, hot shot flame. Love that goblin. That's a beautiful fire starter. Don't, 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 don't get destroyed. Oh, we are down to one. Oh, we lost the SRM. No, wait. They're just empty. We didn't lose them yet. Okay, we're gonna threaten the Black Knight. He should still be coated with acid. I want to go vigilant on that. Let's do it. Come on. Not quite ripped apart. I was kind of hoping that we get the PPC out before he's going to activate. Uh, we have a turn 23 before 22, but it's just our motorbike. Yeah, so there's nothing to intercept him anymore. He's going to shoot once. I think what I need now is to take down the ballistic turret to keep our motorcycle safe. I think this is the only thing that can threaten them right now. They have like that one health. It's dangerous. It's very, very dangerous. Okay. I mean, with a bit of luck, we are able to get as uh, an offensive push out or something against the Black Knight, pushing him back. Uh, it doesn't seem like it now. Cool. Get the power armor down here. Gonna shoot these fools. Not enough yet. So now 22. Now it is time for the Black Knight to do a thing. Oh boy. That's scary. But it is fine. Okay, so there's that. That worked. And I think now it's time to actually just go ahead and d destroy everything that is still alive. Like the little goblin dude. Hit him hard. Yeah, 42%. I didn't really expect to hit him, but I think it's gonna be alright. Boom. Boom. Good. He's down anyway. Excellent. Then, uh, as I was saying... It's a Cyclops of Steel. He seems scary. Should probably stay away from that guy, huh? Says it and runs away. It uh, runs in. Okay, here we are. We suddenly go Vigilante. And we drop all of the stuff that we have on this heavy auto cannon turret. Also deal some splash damage to the buildings already. Good. So, long range missiles. 
We got him. We will use him. Yeah, it's fine. Bitterland. I am actually afraid of this turret, so we're gonna try to take him down now. Just LK. Here we go. Should be enough. Absolutely. Good. Man, I hope that I didn't uh, overlook the uh, turret generator there, if there's any. Doesn't seem like it. Good, 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 good. Um, it's kind of funny that our Direwolf still has very bad hit chance. I mean, relatively speaking, to our other guys. We should really get a better fire control system for this dude. Side tools are destroyed. This is not enough yet. But he's now unsteady. And he lost a lot of his heat capacity. Let me go in. And follow up with the Gauss rifle. And I will even drop my mines down here. Dispense him. I think we killed him with a mine. <laughs> Good. So, also the Lancelot is now gonna run over them. It's not gonna be the most massive damage in the world, but it will help a little bit. I'm worried about this guy. What is your ballistic deal? He has a lot of weapon systems. This is not our regular bread and butter Cyclops. Right? Right? It's crazy. Okay, we're fine. We're totally fine. It's time to bring the Atlas in again. And we will... Oh, no. We don't have the range? We have the range here. wonder if I can hit him with tandem and kill him. Let's see. That is not it. Cool. So, turn 17, turn of the Lancelot. Probably going for the Battlemaster. I would have totally gone for the Battlemaster. It's an easy, unsteady target right now. But that means that we have to withstand the fire of another turret barrage. And I think then we're going to wrap it up. This is where we win the mission. Oh, our AM is, is just so damn good. I love that. I cannot stress this enough. Get AMS, everybody. It saves lives. Uh, speaking of, little guy runs away. Brrrt. There's no need to go in anywhere. It's fine. Let's be done. Cool. LRM's coming in now. You wanna go for Mr. Klops? Ultra Auto Cannon 10 Clan. Ooh, you're a clanner boy. Hmm. Kill him or overheat him? Kill him. You got a pretty good AMS, but you're also getting hot. Oi! So, Lancelot, be gone. We want to really try to get this done now. Just quickly killing everything and just getting out of here. Because we took enough damage already. Lancelot, come on. Bam down. I can already foresee a bright future with a lot of salvage in front of us. Let's get away. Let's not Santa lock this dude. Hmm. I mean, we could finish the turret. Why not? Cool. Everything's burning now. Good. So, and then, probably want to go over here to actually, this time, uh, overheat Mr. Dude Guy here. Let's go with that. I don't think that we can kill him this round before he can act. The other option would have been attacking him with an offensive push or something. Could have been good, yeah. Cannot confirm this. I cannot do anything. Okay. Weird. So in that case, 
I think I'll just move the Sea Riders and try again later. Medium military building. Here we go. Okay. The Devastators are actually quite good. I like him. Ah, now we can do it. 63%. I will start dealing damage to the buildings. Somebody has to. Alright. One down. We have to destroy two total. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Now the Cyclops. Overheat or something? I guess this is... Or something. <laughs> yeah, he's staying there. He's totally staying there. Good. What's my chance? My hit chance is so low that I'd rather shoot another building here. Do we take it? Not quite. So. Now, we're gonna bring somebody in who is actually able to hit Mr... Again, the range! We need a risk rug to get that extra range out. Uh, let's go standard shot. That's the LRMs. Let's work on the Cyclops. Okay. Lone Wolf. Should be able to hit him if we get high ground. I could jump, but I don't want to. Let's do it like this. Artemis down. Engine crit. Master crit. Another engine crit. Uh, two engine crits in one round don't stack, so we have a crit of one. Our PDHS crit? Really? Were we that hot? I need, I need to fix this. This radical thing is just gonna kill us. I need more cooling. Or less damage output. Alrighty, guys. Finish the Cyclops, finish the turret, finish one building, and we can go home. Got him. Great. This is it. Ooh. Uh, it was a bit um. Not a bit. It was definitely more dangerous than I thought it would be in the first place. What's this? Small military. But it's not one of my main targets. This is. Good. So as soon as we have the turret, the last turret down, we're gonna evac automatically. We don't have to evac with 10 units. This is way faster if we just destroy and direct our damage over here. And you're done. Okay. So. Here we go, Mr. Turret. This is my Gauss Rifle. There are many like this. But this is mine. Good. Okay, we have a wizard here, which can only shoot 10 SRMs, but still a lot of LRMs. That's the end of the turret. Good. That was fun. That was really cool. I know I didn't play it in an optimal way, like the melee attack with the Battlemaster early on. Mission successful. I should have maybe taken more care of taking down individual targets instead of splitting the damage and hope that we can take enemies more quickly. But it worked out in the end. It's totally fine. There's a bit of repair cost coming in. Um, but we will still make a plus on our sea builds. And more importantly, there will be good items that we can put in our mechs as a result. So 370,000. I wonder if that actually covers our repair cost. Oh, we'll see. So, let me take a look. I could take Cyclops parts. This is a clan Cyclops, which is compatible with the one that we own. It's not bad. Lancelot, not necessary. Hotshot Flamer, not necessary. Industrial Laser Cutter, tell me about it. It's bad. It's just bad. So don't tell me about it. Okay, Armor. D&I. Ugh. The items are not great so far. There are some clan double heat sinks, which I am half tempted to take. And then ammo? Brawler gyro. We have one, so we don't need one. So what's interesting is the VR pod. I'm gonna totally take that thing. We just generate so much evasion if we put that in our mech. It's gonna be massive. And you know who's wanna, who's gonna take that? One of our lamps. Totally. Absolutely. So, Brawler Gyro, again, is not a thing that we want. No. Claws is not what we need. 
Warhammer is not what we want. Dudes, we still have a lot of picks open that we cannot really fill here. D we have a DNI, don't we? No, not right now. I don't know if I want it right now. We got four max shots. These are not bad items. We can totally fit them into, I don't know, a ballistic based backstabber, something like a Shadowhawk Lamb or so. But we don't have a Shadowhawk Lamb, that's the problem. This is our bottleneck. I guess I'll take the Cyclopses so that we might get some clan stuff out of them later. We need one more part of a Clops and we're good. The rest of the items are garbage. Total garbage. So let's roll the dice. We get Lancelot, Shadowhawk, Warhammer, four machine guns, four PPCs. I'll sell them instantly. It's a hundred thousand, that's good. Machine guns, small laser. Maybe I should have kept them. Clan armor, oh, why not? Armored cowl, basic cockpit, standard fire control system. We get some double heat sinks, great. Okay, and some max shot ammo. Yeah, in total, I think we we were not really getting anywhere here. <laughs> this is not good. We got the Cyclops parts. Hey, that's pretty good. And the virtual reality part is obviously massive, but it was not overwhelmingly good. The salvage, that is. Anyway, that has been it for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.